Alabama will kick it off and Oklahoma will handle the ball first here in Norman. The punter handles the kickoff duties. Lane Bearden, the senior, wears number 44. Savage and Perkins alongside him are back deep. And they go for the onside to start the game. Bama's got it. What a start. Alabama, a two touchdown underdog, decides to jump up with a little bit of trickery as we start the game. And now Tyler Watts will bring it out. Watch this, Gary. Well, Bama backs up. That comes right at him right now. Oklahoma takes one step back. That is scouting, and that is a message to his team. Dennis Franchoni says, we're going at you. We're going to win this game, and they've got the ball. And Watts looks for an open receiver, got him first down, Alabama on the roll across the 35-yard line. Sam Collins, the senior from Fayette, Alabama, a 13-yard gain. Bama squares off against the tough OUD. Incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Michael Ziefel. The sophomore kicker wearing number 40 here today. Now the punter is the holder. This will be a 45-yard attempt for Ziefel. He showed us plenty of leg during the warm-up. Former soccer player. This is low, line drive, and he's got it. Second down. Tuttle going nowhere. Met by Bama's Freddie Roach, the freshman. Third down. Trips went out to the left. Jason in trouble, stumbles, and three and out on their first series. And again, it was number eight, Mr. Roach. Blake Ferguson with his first putt partially blocked. This is going to give Bama great field position again. What a start for the Crimson Tide. A partially blocked punt, and Bama works with half a field again. Third down and five faces another third down against this great OU defense. Offensive line really doing a job. Dropped again. I will tell you, if the receivers hold on to some tough passes, Alabama can move. The offensive line is doing a sensational job. They are, Brent, but so is Oklahoma's coverage. I mean, they are there. They have to be perfect throws. They have been perfect throws. Someone from Alabama who did not have a drop last week at all needs to catch the ball. Tight end, right out there, man-to-man -man coverage. Perfect throw, time to step up. That ball should be caught, but look at Teddy Lehman right there in coverage. That has been the one good thing for Oklahoma so far. They've been there. Kevin should have caught it. Zifo back on the field. This a 52-yarder. And this time, OU swallows it. The Sooners get a big lift. Here's the three-man front in the dime look for Bama against the Oklahoma spread. Incomplete, and OU forced to punt again on three and out. The intended receiver, Mark Clayton. That time it was kept clean. McBride driven inside the 25. I believe Alabama jumped on it. Yes, they did. Number seven, Sam Collins, I believe, is at the bottom of that pile. Yes, he is. There he is. Recovered it. So Oklahoma can take heart in the fact that Bama dominated, but no touchdowns. High and incomplete, and the passing game now is misfiring. Two of nine for Bama here in the early going. And now it's three and out, and this time OU can wind up with some field position. Yeah, I tell you, the Oklahoma players, they, Alabama's given them everything, but Oklahoma has, with their man coverage, has just forced every pass to be perfect, every catch to be clean, and Oklahoma stayed right there. 
every punt today, we're going to go snap the foot from the snap to the foot of the punter and make sure the punter doesn't cause somebody's watch. So far, so far, it's been okay. It has to be under 2.1 seconds. Bearden is punting and Perkins who return on bad snap. Another mistake on a special team. He'll kick it out for the safety. Bearden likes to put that ball on the tee. Remember, he kicked it completely out of the end zone before. Savage and Perkins are the deep men looking for a return. If they can feel one quickly, they will get a return. This along the ground, looking for the big hop. It's going to go out of bounds. They cannot repeat that again this week. Second down, that inside shuttle pass to Griffin. That's short of a first down. They're still going to need a couple. And Wayne Bacon, the strong safety, the senior from Maryland, up to make the stop. An effort to keep this drive going. Takes it away from Griffin, running to the right. He is cut off, hit on the release. And it is caught for a first down. How about that catch down there? Mark Clayton and Fagan were working in the area, and Fagan made the catch. Wayne Bacon almost got there for Bama. Hit him on the release, but it's a first down OU inside the 35-yard line. Going in zone. You got to show the opinion. They're a great sideline picture, those two. <laughs> and outstanding coaches. Second down and 16. Tyler Watts. Nothing doing. It's intercepted. Straight's got it. To the six yard line. Bad judgment on that throw. And Derek Straight, the junior from Austin, Texas, makes him pay. Roy Williams getting ready to open with the Dallas Cowboys are saying that's the way to do it. It's a great safety who left this team. And Griffin. Pounds inside the five-yard line, and Derek Pope makes the stop for Bama. Third down. OU still likes to use that shotgun going in from inside the 10. Jason. And the Bama defense is not so fast, Mr. Danielson. Don't you be knocking, don't you be knocking us out that early in the ball game. Todd Bates makes the stop for Bama. So it's another field goal attempt coming up for Trey DiCarlo. This is 22-yarder. He's a freshman. Won the job late, and this is blocked. Alabama's got a loose one. Scooping up on a 20-yard line. Out of bounds. It was recovered by Charles Jones, the free safety from Waynesboro, Georgia, after the block by Wayne Bacon, who's been all over the field. There'll be no early knockout. Well, it's not going to be a first quarter knockout, that's for sure. Another special team play blocked right up there. There's number uh, 24 that got the hit on there. Bacon got the block, and boy, oh boy, a nice play to even save a touchdown on this play for Oklahoma because I thought he might take it the whole distance. They have had several opportunities. Only a field goal to show for it. Now they pound straight ahead, Galloway, and uh, that's their best running play of the game. Watts is thankful for that penalty. That would have been a slobber knocker. Over to the right comes Watts on the move, looking daylight, nothing doing. Bama forced to punt again. Jonathan Jackson making that last defensive play. The way things are going, we'll have either a touchdown or a block punt. <laughs> Perkins is back deep. Bearden hangs one. He's got it at the 25. Slips through in the middle, looking daylight, still going. What a great return by Perkins. Four wide receivers, if you include Smith, who flexed out. Incomplete. They're waving it off. They say he dropped it. Andrews, the defender down there on Savage. Play fakes a beauty. Got time. Fulgrim out of bounds. He got it there at the 32. They're waving it off now. Bearden forced to come up with a punt. Standing inside his five-yard line, Perkins. Set to give OU some field positions. Going return. Drives him inside the 30. Dances to the right. And here he comes. By the shirt tail from behind. Third down and 18 now. 
Play fake Hibble, steps away, but back into the second rush man, and there's that defensive line now. Roman Harper coming up for the safety position after the defensive line did its job. I saw Moorhead, I believe, in there, and I, King. It was, 55 King, Brent, coming around the left side. Hibble felt him and forced him up in the pocket, give King half that sack. It's not going to show up in the stats, but he really forced it. Boy, Bama's defense is just not yielding. Knocked. Well, one quarterback really took himself out of the game with the D injury. And Hibble unable to move. And uh, Ferguson gets this punt off now. McBride, the return man. And was that a violation? No, he ran up and made the catch, did he, at the 30 yard line. So ABC Sport, now there is a, uh, a late fly. Disregard the flag. There is no penalty on the play. The ruling on the field is that the return man was. Kick blocked into the receiver. First down. Third down and four now. Watts. Fulgrim, and he's hit short of the first down. Fourth down, and Bama forced a punt again. Antonio Perkins in on top of him with your special teams. You just don't have the time that the NFL fellas have or the personnel to put together great special teams. And uh, coaches like Frank Beamer have been taking advantage of that for decades down there. And uh, here today we've had great special teams play from both teams, and here's one of the best return men in the country. What a great punt by Bearden. Bearden drives it back inside the nine. Bobo, loose. But OU jumps on it. And now the tug of war underneath. I saw that back judge with the signal first. He did for signal. OU. Yes, and there, he there he gets the backup signal for the other side. So Oklahoma. Uh, they can breathe a sigh of relief down here in Norman because that ball was uh, clearly free down there. Perkins catches that ball funny, kind of like, you remember Rod Woodson, how he catches it up in front of him? He catches this one high off his face mask, and then as he looks forward to run, he just drops the ball. He's very fortunate to get this ball back. Here we go. Spread out formation, four wide receivers on Coming the two yards. your own end zone. <laughs> Sprinting is Hibble. Wide open is Savage. And Savage muscles his way. Toward a first down, but I don't want to count the Wolverines out that quickly. Second down and six. Oh, Griffin breaks that first tackle, but thrown for the loss. And third down and 15. Hibble rolls to the right, fires back into the middle, complete, but that is just short of a first down, I believe. Brandon Jones from Texarkana, Texas, is the receiver. So here's his fifth punt of the game. Fumble out of bounds. Alabama has got it at the 21, and that is fortunate for Bama that it went out of bounds right there because OU was closing in in a hurry. Behind the chains. Diving lineman after the ball. Yeah, I guess it. And J guess Jimmy who? Wilkerson <laughs> came in just as you were talking about him. And they're going to be tougher than this at Norman against this D. Three down linemen. Mitchell also coming. They got a wide open running back coming out. And they got dang close to a first down that time. As the tight end Sanders able to run to daylight, but this uh, this will bring up another Alabama punt, and uh, this Bama team's got two solid fronts, like we said at the top of the broadcast. Here's Hibble. Complete first down at the 30-yard line, and Savvy, the senior flanker, makes the catch. Lack of confidence up front. Griffin. There's Alabama stoning him. Bacon, that strong safety, hard hitter, number 24. Hibble, top side. No. Dropped just at the last moment by Trent Smith. Ferguson punting again, and Shad Williams back to return this time. They didn't like McBride's action on the last one. And Shot feels this one at the five, finds daylight down the right sideline and steps out short of the 20. And starting there, probably have a handoff to the tailback just to <laughs> get his feet wet here. There it is. And big run for Galloway. 
You would have thought that OU would have seen that one coming. That's 12 yards. Twins out to the right. Here's that running game with Beard. Big hole. Antonio Beard spins. Fumble. Did they mark it down? No, OU's got the fumble. Beard fumbles. Lehman raced back and made the recovery on it. OU offense now. Working with half a field. Hibble keeps it clean. Going deep down the sideline. Got him. Touchdown, Oklahoma. 51 yards. And Clayton scores for the second time today. Inside handoff. Galloway's eaten up by Lehman. Great play by Teddy Lehman, number 11. Third down and 15. There's Bassey look for him to blitz. Here he comes. Setting the screen. Almost intercepted. That was Derek Strait, who's already picked off one. All the timeouts left. First down, two would stop the clock. Hibble has got the first down and wide open as the DB goes down. And Clayton makes a move, spins, reaches to the one-yard line to get it started. going to be a sneak, isn't they it? They show the power eye behind Carter. Hibble over the top. Touchdown. Hibble behind Vince Carter for the touchdown. Oklahoma will kick it off. This is an Oklahoma defense that has not given up a touchdown in 10 consecutive quarters. That dates back, of course, to uh, the bowl game. Alabama football, Tyler Watts, the quarterback. Galloway stretched out, and down he goes with Eric Bassey, the redshirt freshman from Garland, Texas, making the stop. Beard in it, running back on this third down for Bama. Fake to him. Watts will take off, has the first down to the OU 49-yard line, and Lehman making the stop. He's been really active. That was an 11-yard run for Watts. Second down against a four-man OU rush. Sprint to the left. There's the first down inside the 35-yard line. And Zach Fletcher, the junior wide receiver, makes that catch. You think option football? Fourth down. Same play. It's Galloway. Yep. First down. Dives to the three yard line. And Galloway creased in the middle. Powers to the end zone. Alabama touchdown. The first touchdown in 11 straight quarters against the OU defense. And Bama is fired up. Lehman wants a fair catch, it's loose fumble. Alabama's got it at the 42. Lehman was signaling for a fair catch. His own man collided with him and created the turnover and Pope dashes to the sideline. Bama's got it back. And Smokey Hurst, number 57, did not react well to the pooch punt. Watch Teddy Lehman, bottom of your screen. He signals fair catch. Now watch number 57 takes Lehman's legs out and boom, another turnover on a kickoff. Alabama twice in this game get the ball on kicking the ball off to Oklahoma. Watts gets protection. Middle Collins at the 11 yard line. First down. Sam Collins, the senior, makes the grab. 38 yards. Now back at the OU 21. Wide open and dropped on the outside. Theo Sanders. You could not have gotten more wide open than Sanders was on that play. Alabama searching for its own big play on third and 14. Watts had a defender in his face. Drops it off to the safety valve. Short of the first down, he's inside the uh, five-yard line. That's Santonio Beard. Here's Siefel for the field goal. 
22 yarder on its way. No good. Man. Michael Zifo. Hibble runs away from pressure. Fires high, caught, but I believe that's short of the uh, first down. Alabama was ready for Trent Smith on third down. <laughs> that's Williams back to return this. And he'll get a crack at it. Good morning, buddy. Good morning. return to the 43-yard line by Sean Williams. First down and 10. Tyler Watts, who's done a fine job for Alabama, under center. Brings that option look down the line. Now pitches to the running back. And Ray Hudson that time picked up nine yards against this OU defense. Second down and one. Play fake. It's a beauty by Watts. Down the middle. First down at the 26 yard line. And that time, Donald Clark, the junior from Boca Raton, Florida, made the 22 yard gain. Sprint high, incomplete, and the OUD stiffens up. This is a tough call here. Do you go for the field goal or do you just go for it right here if you're Dennis Franchoni? I think they're just going to go for it on fourth down, the way they've been kicking the ball. This guy's regular personnel on the field. Yep. This is going to be tough to pick up. One of the reasons Tommy Harris is on the sideline is because Alabama's had the ball the whole quarter, and this Oklahoma defense is gassed. They need to reach the 15-yard line. Watts, middle, incomplete. Oh, had Fulgram open Wide and open. threw behind him that time. Second down and 10. Blitzer doesn't get there. Hibble's in trouble. Going oh, to be written down. Beautiful job by Antoine Odom, the defensive end from Alabama. And third down at 15, still two minutes in the third quarter. Here's your third down for OU. Hibble on the move. Now it's punt time again for Oklahoma. Well, Coach Bob Stoops now hoping that Brother Mike and Brent Venables are ready for a little defense. Blake's blocked. Bama's got it. Touchdown. Touchdown. There's a penalty flag down on the play. Taylor, who blocked one earlier in this game, just blocked his second punt. And it's going to be a touchdown the way they're celebrating on the Alabama sideline. It's going to count. The reverse. And they get it back. They almost gave it up on the 20 yard line. Second down and 17. Hibble is going down. Hibble didn't like that one. He did not look good there, did he? Moorhead getting that sack that time makes it third down and 25 for Hibble and OU. Sacked again. And this time it was Kenny King coming backside. The defensive line dominating the football game for Alabama. Blake Ferguson's got to try it again. And he gets it out of there. Field position coming up. Shad Williams downs it at the 39-yard line. Three down linemen. Watts comes back, caught, but I think that's short of the first down. I don't know. I it's think very close. Maybe he'll get it, Gary. It's very close. I anyway, they could go now and fourth right. down. I think that ball was tipped, too. I think it was tipped, and it was a great they reaction. Got it. First down. Second down. Play fake. Got a wide open man. Out at the 10 yard line, and that is the tight end who dropped one earlier, Theo <laughs> Sanders. And man, he really wrapped it up. He gave that ball a bear hug that time. Third down for Alabama. Inside the Sooners 10. Watts sprints right. He's got daylight. 
crosses the five and makes it a tough decision now sure on does. fourth down. Let me tell you, he's down at about the three-yard line. Michael Ziefel will attempt the field goal for Alabama unless it's a fake. Made one from 45, the 52-yarder was blocked. This is a 21-yarder from the right hash for Ziefel. in for the touchdown and now Zifo can put Alabama ahead with an extra point. What a kicking game the Crimson Tide showed up with here today. And you would not expect it to be a decoy. He hasn't seen much action today. And it was high and incomplete. Moving over on him was Derek Pope, a linebacker. And, and remember the last home game for OU a year ago. They were beaten by Oklahoma State. Nate Hibble. Looking for the open man. Right at the first down marker that time. Clayton, he's short. Did he come back inside it? He did. Came back to the ball. I think he's short. That was my first view from up here. It's very, very close. This is Nate Hibble's best throw of the second half, but there's not much to choose from. Good protection. Finally got time to step into a throw. Good throw. Comes back, puts it right on the numbers. But no cheapies. Alabama's giving no cheap deep throws. They're making Oklahoma earn every yard. I think it's short, isn't it? Yes, it is. Still 9.39 to go. He's going to get some heart up there, too. That's a big Carter part of Carter and thing. Hibble lined up. This was a touchdown. They're going to hand it off. First down and almost broken by Jones. Second down and 15 for the Sooners. And the slam is knocked away beautifully by number nine, Anthony Madison, the sophomore from Thomasville, Alabama. Hibble runs away from trouble, but he won't get the pass off now. He throws it away. And uh, there's a penalty flight. The linesman threw it right at him as he just... Uh, God, they might call it intentional grounding. Yeah, absolutely. Is to secure the ball and set up whatever kind of a ball control, time-consuming drive that they might muster behind Galloway. Oh, shit. And this is a shanked punt. This gives Alabama an opportunity for the upset. Half a field to play with, with eight and a half minutes to go, and they lead it by a point after the 27-yard punt. If they don't get it, will they go for a long field goal? Up by one. Watts. Quarterback draw. Close to the first down marker. He has stood up very close to it, ladies and gentlemen. Five, ten to go. Watts in trouble. Down at the 32-yard line, Pasha Jackson. They show three down linemen. They're coming at him from the corner. Can't get there, but... They force Watts up into the middle, and he is down at the 29-yard line. Strong leg. Boom. Got it. Zafel makes it four and means they cannot lose to a field goal right now. Alabama keeps four defensive linemen, keeping the pressure on the offensive line. Inside, shuttle pass. Ronaldo works, looking for daylight. Ronaldo works out to the 44-yard line and out of bounds. He's a speed burner, 24 yards. Got him, reaches for the first down. Antoine Savage. Oakland, uh, I'll tell you, Brett, Alabama has not backed up. They're not in a prevent because of this. And works with his speed, breaks free again, and still going. Needs a block. Down the sideline, inside, for the seven-yard line. Ronaldo works. Makes the perhaps the biggest play of the game. 39 yards for Oklahoma. Jones is the running back. Yeah, Keywan Jones is in there. Here comes Jones. 
takes the lead. There's still plenty of time left. Here's Watts. Tried to step away from the pressure. And he's brought down at the 20 by Pasha Jackson. The Oklahoma sideline urging the crowd on for second and 11. Here he comes again. Fancy. Open. Got the first down. Out at the 32-yard line. It'll be first down, and the clock stops as Sam Collins, the possession man, does it again. He's Harris couldn't quite get there on the pass is completed. They cross midfield, and they give themselves a chance. Triando Luke. Ronaldo works. He brought Oklahoma down the field and gave them a chance to win it 30-27. Last 36 seconds down. Got out of one. Hand picked up. Oklahoma will win it. Touchdown, Eric Bassey. The ball got away from Tyler. Break for a young man who played so bravely here today. The Oklahoma's rushing game as down he goes at the 25. This young man has the play of the day. And there it is. Oklahoma wins it by 10. 37-27.